Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, and we are back in a sense. I, I was well, we we're going to start early. We were, were. Oh, what the hell is with my volume? Oh, let me watch my. Sorry about the no, My volume just jumped. Everything's jumping this morning. Let's see. Wow. Okay. Um, not sure what's going on with the internet. Uh, we were going live, and uh, I was dropping some major frames starting out. And um, um, let me see. Volume's good. Um, I just restarted, Chris. That's all. I was dropping some major frames. My, um, I, I, I hadn't restarted my computer here. I, I've been having some te technical, not technical difficulties, I think it's operational uh, difficulties, but, but first of all, good morning, this is Rich Roberts, at Fireman Rich, here on the Twitch, at Fireman Rich over there on Twitter, uh, if you're watching this on the replay, thank you very much, and we do have the morning coffee for the Wednesday morning coffee at, uh, here at Twitch, and uh, good morning to uh, uh, Jeeves, good morning uh, Chris Tech. And uh, I'm just sort of looking over things and stuff like that. Our CPU rate is, well, it's in the range. It's between 20 and 30. Good morning, Tony. Salute to you, sir. Salute. Positive start to the day. Hashtag PSTTD. We're just getting our day started here. Um, I, I think last Thursday I've been just sort of mucking stuff up here. I didn't have a, um, uh, thank you, Chris Tech, Bazenga. Uh, Last Thursday, couldn't do the Anchor Morning Audio because I mucked something up on the uh, iPad Mini here. Yesterday, I'm, I was going with the same article. Had the, the uh, audio done, but something in the uh, rendering, I think when I, I, I think I knew what I did. I accidentally hit the screen and it scrambled something up. So there was no... Uh, no... Uh, uh, and... Oh, Tina, yesterday was National Ice Cream uh, Sandwich Day, Tina, when she comes in. <laughs> and good morning, Lady Cat. Good morning, Erica. Um, so there was no Anchor Morning Audio yesterday. Uh, it just, uh, uh, my workflow got a little disrupted. So this morning, I'm up early. I was ready to go at uh, quarter after, 20 after I'm going live. And then uh, Captain Rehab, good morning, sir. Uncle Rich, Uncle Fireman Rich is here. It's hump day. Yes, it is, sir. And uh, for a full day, ain't always so bad. Good morning. Good morning, Tina. And I saw you retweeted. Yesterday was, uh, yesterday was a um, uh, ice cream sandwich day. Thank you for retweeting it anyway. I, I'm going to get to the national day today, I guess. So that's a new feature, I guess, I got here. Um, but... Um, so this morning it went, and I think I was watching Randy W. Horton and at the beginning of his broadcast. And uh, good morning, Tina. Tina saying good morning to everybody. Lady Cat, um, as far as that goes. Yeah, I, I think I got a different one. There's, there's several of them for today. And, um, and I guess I was just dropping some major frames. So my frame, my CPU rate is right in the the, the, the sweet zone. I ended up re, uh, restarting the. So that's a good thing about starting real early. I'm able to come back and I don't have to squash it like I do. The Anchor Morning Audio, I've got the audio and it's right at the, uh, the, the end of the window of where I, I either get it done or else I just say, screw it. I got to get ready for work, you know. The, I can't uh, put off work just to figure out what happened with my audio. So, uh, but we're here this morning. Good morning, and uh, glad that you're all here. And uh, uh, Tony, uh, Tony D is in the house, and I'm gonna be talking about you, Tony, because uh, uh, you're doing something that most of us are not doing. Uh, I am observing, but uh, I'm observing him as well as another person. Uh, um, Bofa, Bofa, B-O-F-A, what's that, Captain Rehab, saying that to Tony, Tony D. But um, let's see, currently here in the southern tier of uh, upstate New York, it is 56 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got a weather a heat advisory going on, I guess, um, but abundant sunshine, 
uh, going to be up in the 90s today. It was hot yesterday, but I think it's going to be hotter today. Uh, winds out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And we got sun across the board for the full day today. Uh, we gained another minute. The sun rose is going to be rising this morning at 0602, which is in about uh, 23, 25 minutes. 6.02 a.m. it will be rising and it will be setting later today at 8.23 p.m. When I got home yesterday after dinner, I just crashed. I didn't even look at the internet last night. Uh, maybe I peaked a little bit, but uh, I, I just laid out on the couch and I was out like a light. Um, the world uh, times and temperatures starting in Honolulu at 11.38 p.m. Yesterday, Honolulu is 78 degrees, partially cloudy skies. In Phoenix, Arizona, it is 91 degrees. It's 2.38 a.m. there. Albuquerque, New Mexico, where it's 3.38, it is 66 degrees. Clear skies this morning for them. Out in Chicago, it is 75 degrees at 4.38 a.m. Down in the city, the jungle, New York City, it's 73 degrees uh, Fahrenheit with uh, clear skies across the pond. It is uh, at 10.38 a.m. in Cork, Ireland. It's 63 degrees. Uh, cloudy skies. In Milan, Italy, it's 90 degrees at 11.38 a.m. just before their lunchtime, noontime. It's sunny. In Riyadh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, at 12.38 p.m., it is 106 degrees. Um, they've got uh, sunny skies there. In New Delhi, India, at 3.09 p.m., it is cloudy with 91 degrees. In Mumbai, uh, same time, 3.09 p.m., it is 84 degrees. Cloudy, possible, it looks cloudy and sunny at the same time. Over in Kula Lumpur, uh, at 5.39 p.m., it is 86 degrees. Tokyo, Japan, uh, at 6.39 p.m. today, it, it, well, it's currently 6.39 p.m. It's 91 degrees, so it's a hot one there in Tokyo. Down there in Australia, in Melbourne, um, Australia, at 7.39 p.m., it's 63 degrees, clear night skies, and the same over in Sydney, but it's 66 degrees Fahrenheit over there. Out in Deming, New Mexico, 73 degrees and uh, high at 96 and uh, let's see, uh, Tony lots of left. Does Uncle Rich really want to know? No, I don't want to know. <laughs> I'll find out sometime. So I only got a certain amount. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Captain Rehab. No, he doesn't. Okay, there you go. Tony answer for me. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got, got a good start here to the morning show, and I appreciate it, guys. Uh, you know, after yesterday, uh, Anchor Morning, actually, um, I'm thinking about just going to a straight five-day stretch. I'm going to have to think that over this weekend as far as that goes. Um, what the hell? I got all sorts of things going off here in the Twitter. What do we got? I know, uh, let's see, what do we got going here on the Twitter? Okay, yeah, okay. So you got my response there, Chris. So we're, 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 we're going. What's this uh, alerts? What's this alerts? What's the little bell in Twitter? Oh, okay. Uh, thank you, Chris and uh, Tina, for the uh, the like and the retweets there. And um, uh, our thought for the day is um, another one from Mark Twain. I like Mark Twain. Mark Twain, like I always say, he is his final resting spot is just about uh, um, how long does it take to get to Elmire? Thirty thirty minutes. About thirty. They're about thirty minutes west of here is uh, Mark Twain's final resting spot. Someday I will get there and do a Twitch broadcast um, as far as that goes. But uh, our thought for the day is uh, as follows from Mark Twain. The miracle of the miracle or the power that elevates the few is to be found in their industry in their industry application and perseverance under the prompting of a brave, determined spirit. The key takeaway on that one for me, brave, determined spirit. If you have a brave, determined spirit, you could probably do almost anything in this world as far as that goes. So uh, Mark Twain, um, as far as that goes, the miracle or the power that elevates the few is to be found in their industry, application, and perseverance under the prompting of a brave, determined spirit. 
okay so sometimes we just you know like I myself I, I feel like a slug I don't want to do anything do I have a determined spirit at that point no I'm not gonna get anything done uh, as far as that goes uh, let's see geez backing up it's 59 degrees Fahrenheit out there in Vancouver which is 15 degrees centigrade thank you for the conversion there Jeeves I appreciate it good morning it's finally cooling down here in Washington State that's good Christopher hey from Washington State good to see you. everybody's saying good morning to Christopher from Washington glad to see you here so that's a um, like they all are there I, I, I like Mark Twain Mark Twain is uh, one of my favorite authors and stuff like that I know some people have some issues with them but um, I, I I like him. He's uh, he's a, a I, I think he was a, a good man for his time there and stuff. Uh, Captain Rehab, don't wrestle with pigs. You both get dirty and the pig and the pigs like. Is that a Mark Twain? I, I think I've used that one. <laughs> is that? I'm gonna have to research that one. I'm gonna have to fact check you, Captain Rehab. No, I believe you, Captain Rehab. It probably is because Mark Twain was a very unique individual as far as. Uh, is saying um yeah and L lady cat likes mark twain i think he wouldn't really survive in today's <laughs> culture as far as that goes but that's a diff that's a different story um let's see our national national day for today i think uh what did uh what did uh lady cat say she said something about it was uh, watermelon day or something like that let me see uh, yeah, Na National Watermelon Day. It's also National Georgia Day. But the one I like is Na uh, National Grab Some Nuts Day. <laughs> and I know Captain Rehab is going to have a field day with that one. <laughs> National Grab uh, Some Nuts Day, August 3rd. There are many nut days throughout the year, such as National Almond Day, National Pistachio Day, and National Pecan Day. But August 3rd embraces them all. <laughs> I could just hear Captain Rehab. Let's wait. Let's wait for it. His stories are interesting. Yes, uh, uh, Tina. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my, Tina. <laughs> um, it's National Grab Some Nuts Day. Hashtag National Grab Some Nuts Day. Define, uh, defining a nut is tricky, though uh, Baton... Well, uh, an almond and cashew aren't uh, considered nuts. They aren't. Oh, I didn't know that. Once uh, they're once they're in a can, it's hard to tell the difference. The same goes with walnuts and pecans. Even though the word "nut" in their names, despite the confusion, these nuts uh, contain continue to find their way in our daily diets. Whether we add them to salads or into baked goods, which I love. Um, I think uh, the missus made some brownies here that had some um, some nuts in them, some almonds. Depending on the kinds, they add necessary good fats to our diets. They also full they're full of minerals, nutrition, and uh, we might otherwise be missing. In the right quantities, they improve our health, which I agree, and uh, make things taste better. There's nothing too nutty about that. Um, so there we go, National Nut Day. Oh my God, it's B-O-F-A day. <laughs> I, I'm starting to think of what that is. Uh, let's see, good morning to the missus. Yeah, well, she's not up yet. She's she's uh, she's not up yet, Tony. I love nuts, yeah, nuts. Hoo-ah. <laughs> so I'll be posting the, the thing. So it's National uh, Grab Some Nuts Day for August 3rd. And um, as far as that goes. So, um, the thing I'd like to talk about, I'm not going to get to an interesting, I'm going to try tomorrow uh, to do the Anchor Morning Audio, and this will be the third time that uh, I will probably, I'm going to highlight the, uh, highlight the, uh, the story I'll be talking about tomorrow, and it's about beer beer waste the grains that you make that's uh, that there's um there's something they do with them along with some um some excessive farm uh, residual products to make uh, fuels to help conserve the energy uh conserve uh yeah bio bio gases create creating green energy using brewers grain so i'll be talking about that again in the anchor morning audio i'm gonna i gotta try it again 
as far as that goes. I'm gonna try. I'm, I'll probably end up trying a different workflow as far as that goes. So um, um, let's see. What's let me see something. I gotta turn this off. And uh, what kind of nuts, Tina? Let's see. Uncle Rich just said these nuts. <laughs> these nuts. Uh, let's see everybody's laughing on the nuts in Captain Rehab and uh, Tina saying good morning to Jeeve so I'm caught up on the, the thing let me I gotta turn this off here and um, but uh, so I'll be highlighting that uh, today in history good good news history let's see what we got uh, this is an interesting 30, 30 years ago today Clint Eastwood took one last job in Unforgiven, which debuted in theaters in Los Angeles, co-starring Morgan Freeham and uh, Gene Hackman. The film was a, uh, a, a big success on the financial, enormous success on the financial side, grossing 10 times production costs, and on the criteria side, winning Academy Award, including Best Picture. And that was a pretty intense, intense uh, movie. Uh, that was back in 1992 sometimes called uh, re revisionized western the film worked to mainly demonstrate this deconstruct black and white uh, morality established in an early western movie culture um, because that's the one thing the old westerns didn't show they didn't show the Africa the blacks African Americans that were very prominent back in that time as cowboys um, in some ways it borrows from Russia's literature and that it d displays often the reality the lack of morals and the action of people in or in moral situations and ends up presenting uh, instead of kind of uh, muling of human uh, wretchedness um, to wit, Rotten Tomatoes writes uh, the film as both directed and star Clint Eastwood strips away decades of Hollywood varnish and applies the Wild West and uh, emerges with a series of harsh uh, statements about the nature of violence. So, a pretty violent movie too. Clint Eastwood, a good guy there and stuff like that. So, uh, let's see, what else? America's first intercollegiate athletic event was held between Yale and Harvard for a crew race in 1852. Uh, the Doors started a two-week run at number one uh, on the U.S. single charts with Hello, I Love You, and the group's second hit to reach the top chart back in 1968. Uh, in 1972, the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty was ratified by the U.S. Senate. And um, uh, the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty down there, they say it's in New York City, but actually it's over in Jersey as far as that goes, the Statue of Liberty. You can see it from Brooklyn. Um, I, I've seen it many a time there. Uh, reopened after being closed after the September 11th attack back in 2004. Um, and uh, Tony Bennett, is Tony Bennett still alive? He's 96 today. Today's his birthday. God bless you, Tony. Great guy, winner of 19 Grammys. He grew up uh, a poor family of uh, Italian immigrants, but his uncle was uh, a vaudeville tap dancer and gave Tony an early window to show business. And speaking of it's Italians, I don't want to. Um, I was listening to Randy's uh, uh, just the first few five ten minutes. Uh, yeah, it's NFL preseason tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I'm not. I'm not too much into it right now, Chris. You know, NFL preseason. I guess uh, there's, uh, uh, you could say, the Canadian football up there where Jeeves lives in Canada. They've got their season going. Yeah, I'm not watching. Uh, I'm sort of taking a break after the USFL. I'll wait till the real season starts. In, I guess it's September. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, yep, Nishila Nichols, Mary Alice, and uh, Bill Russell. Bill Russell, what a freaking guy. Uh, you, you see some of the old clips of him playing, man. Him and Wilt Chamberlain, they were monsters on the court. Monsters. You know, that that's why the Celtics and uh, Lakers had so many championships is because of those two individuals. It's just monster guys, on uh, monster presence. They changed the whole format of the game as far as that goes. Um, and, uh, um, and now everybody in the NBA is a big guy. <laughs> 
I mean, even the guards, they're like skyrocketing and stuff like that. Uh, what kind of nuts? Okay, let's see. I'm just back in track. That was 30 years ago. Yeah, 30 years ago, Tony. And um, NFL preseason. Yep, we'll see what happens with that. Like I said, I'm not excited. I've been seeing uh, there was one guy uh, came from Houston to Cleveland. I can't think of the quarterback's name. He's been uh, suspended for six games. You know, take the six games and just move on, I guess, you know, because the the alternative, uh, the league wanted him suspended for the whole year, I think, as far as that goes. So and I don't watch the preseason that much. I watch the reg Yeah, so, yeah, like I said, preseason, it's a mute point. It just, it's a, it's a benchmark saying NFL's coming up. But right now, baseball is is the talk of the town because both the Yankees and Mets, they're uh, they're heading to the playoffs. And I'm hoping for a Subway Series, but Los Angeles is going to be tough. Um, that's my call there. And Astros, they they could uh, I could they could sneak in there again as far as that goes. Okay, I'm starting to let's see the CPU rate. Am I dropping? Let me see. Let's see the stats. Am I dropping some frames? No, we're doing good. We're doing okay. Just a few drops. No, nothing big. Uh, see, I'm going to be. Yeah, but uh, that evens the series. It's all about who wins the series, Chris. Okay, the Yankees. They've they've lost a game, but they always win the series, and they've got the they them and the Los Angeles Dodgers have the best. Where's the Boston Red Sox? I don't need to say anything more. They've already, they've already, you look at the trades they're doing right now, Chris. They've already written off the season. They're not even looking at trying to get the wild card. Baltimore Oreos, I'm rooting for them because I'd like to see them get to the wild card. And then the Yankees beat them. <laughs> so there's baseball. There's the history. Um, let's see. Let's, um, let's go with the dinner report, Chris, before I get into this last item. Get them out of here. Yeah, I well, you're the Met. Your Cubs lost it. Yeah, Cubs. Um, but Tony, you're a Met fan, I think, right? I like both Mets and the Yankees. You know, if I have to root for one of them, I, I just couldn't. It's just like whatever comes out in the baseball th thing. Uh, um, yeah, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's do the dinner. Uh, what'd you have for dinner, Chris? What did we have for dinner last night? Oh, we had. Um, uh, rice and beans, rice and beans. It wasn't nothing fancy, but the missus made up. Yeah, damn straight. Okay, Tony, <laughs> the Mets. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Erica comes in with roasted chicken from Safeway with mac and cheese. Okay, and Tina comes in with ch Chinese boneless ribs and fried rice. A little Asian food there. I had I had rice. Was being just as was sort of like a Spanish rice mix and stuff to. Um, the the missus made up. It was very tasty. I only had one one because uh, right after that I I crashed on the couch and I was out. I woke up at eleven o'clock and uh, let's see. Uh, Chris had for dinner roasted turkey, ranch bacon sandwich and curly fries. Dr Pepper from Arby's. Arby's. I see they had a commercial. They got um, and I am I I I've gotten uh, they have that orange milkshake orange shake. I don't normally, I, I haven't been to Arby's for a sandwich in years and stuff, but uh, they have something going, I saw in the commercials, they're, they're fish and chips as far as that goes. Tony had beef tips and rice with gravy, and Christopher had uh, Campbell's chunky vegetable chicken and dumplings. Oh, wow. Is Jeeves still here? Yeah, Jeeves, you're here. What'd you have for dinner? And I think I'm hearing the missus getting up. So the last thing um, I, I want to talk about, because we'll be coming up here at the top of the hour. Oh, yep, the missus is up. Tony said hi. hi. Or good morning. Yep, missus is up now. She's getting her coffee. And I do have the morning coffee, if I didn't, haven't already said that. Arby's has online. I don't like doing the online ordering. I don't know. I'm a little, little sketchy about online. I do it for Mario's Pizza. Again, no affiliation. Oh, it's Captain Rehab. Is he going to tell us what he had for dinner? Uh, and Erica says hello too. Uh, Jeeves comes in with chicken cordon bleu. Ooh, I haven't had cordon bleu in a long time. That's good stuff with rice. Okay, and Arby's. Um, we order our pizza 
I'll be at work at the day job, and um, the missus will text me. We're going to have Mario's Pizza pick it up. She'll order it. They have it ready. That works. Uh, Tony to Chris Tech, bacon ranch, or turkey bacon ranch. That's good. Uh, Jeeves loves it. Oh, wow. Yes, it's my favorite sandwich. Yeah, he's had, Chris has had that quite a few times. Okay, there's a there's what we had for dinner last night as far as that goes. The last thing I want to uh, talk about, and uh, this go, I'm, I'm glad you're here, here, Tony, because I'm not talking about you where you're not here. You know, there's some people that, um, from what I've been hearing, hint, 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 hearing, they don't like talking about people if they're not in the room and stuff. I have no problem. You know, because it's generalities. But uh, our good friend Tony D. Oh, let's see. Uh, Christopher, I ordered pizza on the app too. Okay. Oh, shit. Lots of laughs, Tony. I'm a, yeah, you're. Um, I appreciate you giving me shout, shout outs there, Tony, uh, um, on other platforms. I greatly appreciate that, sir. I, I'm glad you're here because it's straight up right from me. Thank you very much, sir. Um, unlike some other individuals that don't even recognize that, that's fine. I can live with that. Um, uh, but Tony here, he's, uh, and I've said that before, I haven't talked about it, but Tony is, um, he's on, uh, of course, uh, TikTok, and uh, he's uh, uh, he's doing up a storm. Um, am I on TikTok? Yes and no. I'm on there to, to watch and to look and uh, to a view. Um, um, I'll come clean. I do have an account. It's a private account. I have Tony. Um, so, uh, Chris, don't go follow me on. I'm not gonna. If you're not active on uh, TikTok, I'm not gonna probably follow you. I'm not. I'm just there as an observer. Um, I'll come clean. I've been on. Uh, I've had an account here for the last couple weeks. I think I shocked Tony out of his pants there, <laughs> if I could say that, Tony, jokingly. Uh, I thought it was a bot. No. Oh yeah, I know you did <laughs> until I did direct message you. How can it be a bot? The bots start, I think, from what I saw, is after you start an account, right? And you start trying to follow. That's why I put my account in private. Um, right now, I'm following Tony. Um, I've got Randy W. Horton is on there. I went live today on Twitch. Okay. Um, you can go live on, um, on TikTok. Uh, but they don't save from what I'm seeing, Tony, unless you download it, as far as that goes. I know I got an invite from you. You went live once on TikTok the last couple days. Walt Hollick. Walt is on TikTok. He is killing it on TikTok. I love watching. T I mean, uh, be and Tony, you need to do more. You can do more. Um, Randy's not doing much but sitting there. Uh, Jane uh, Art, uh, she's on there. Jeeves went live on Twitch yesterday. Yes, I saw that. Jeeves, is, Jeeves went live. He's doing the... And that's uh, two afternoons in a, in a row there. So, uh, um, Tina, yes, Walt is good. Walt is spectacular. Oh, my God. It makes... I'm, I'm just, you know... Tony, you're good, okay? And I want to see you live. Um, but it's just trying to catch you when I'm... You know, because uh, when you went live, I'm either offline and I, I, I don't really hear it going... Uh, the alert or whatever, but uh, uh, Walt is killing it with some of the artwork. Him and um, he's almost. That's why we haven't seen him here on Twitch. I think because he's having too much fun with uh, uh, Teddy on TikTok. But uh, Tony is on there. I am following him. He was the first person I followed, and uh, um, uh, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be following much more. I, I I glanced through the other crap, and for the most part, a lot of it is it's it's just like reels. Just like stories on those other platforms, uh, I'm going to do more. I just still try to, f yeah. Um, and you've gone live, right, T Tony? Let's see. I have over a thousand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's very easy to get a thousand file followers, Chris. Um, very easy to get. You know, you can get you can get a thousand followers in a month. That that's no big deal. Yes, you went you went live twice. Okay. And I missed both of those times, so I was looking for the replay, looking for the replay, and then it wasn't until I, I did some research. I guess TikTok, if, if the broadcaster goes live and they want to save the broadcast, then they have to download it onto their phone. I don't know if you can download it on the, uh, the web, uh, web page. I like the web page. I got the web page up. Um, I have posted a few things 
just to, to test it but uh, right now I don't think I, I'm, I'm following like uh, six people there's three people following me back and I got two likes so I'm like at the bottom I'm in the bottom of the barrel and stuff I don't plan on doing anything more than on TikTok, so that's why I guess I'm coming clean so uh, it's I'm more of an observer just so you know that Tony uh, um, I don't I think the numbers are skewed as far as from what I'm seeing because you just if you just click on something it, it's gonna it's gonna tick the number over um, it's sort of like what haps was haps numbers were skewed too because of reddit hap uh, I think uh, speaking of numbers I don't like looking at numbers but we're talking about numbers uh, let's see over there or here on t uh, on the Twitch right now, we got, uh, and I, well, it gives me a chance to thank those people that are watching this right now. So currently we have a uh, drum roll going as we, uh, my webpage is uh, queuing in. Uh, the views are big, but watching is different. Yeah. Well, I don't even count them as you, like right now I got eight, I know I've got eight solid people watching this. And I think the numbers after on the replays are a lot more uh, realistic than TikTok. TikTok, you know, somebody that says, oh, I got 2,000 and stuff like Unless you're a, a real prominent broadcaster, um, I think uh, uh, like uh, I'm just using this as an example. Let's see, I'm looking at your, uh, your page here. Most of your numbers I think are pretty good, Tony. They're realistic. But when I see someone from uh, from Haps and they get like over, I don't know. Let's let let's look at Waltz. What's Waltz? You know, a lot of those are just quick clicks and stuff. And uh, Walt Walt is in the between the 100 and 300 range. Those are realistic, I would say. I I could believe those are realistic. He's got a good following. He's got over a thousand, like Tony does. And he's following over a thousand. He's got five thousand likes. Where um, uh, I'm not comparing you, but I just you know, I guess I am comparing. Where uh, uh, Tony's got, he's got, he's following close to almost three thousand, and he almost has three thousand followers. And um, and I, but your numbers are realistic. But I, I would imagine out of the, a lot of those followers for both Walt and Tony, a lot of those are bots. And it's, uh, let's see, Chris, if you host people's broadcasts on here, it will help them get more, if you, get who more, oh, oh, as far as, uh, for Twitch goes, yeah, um, 10 views right now, okay, you got 10 views for my broadcast, Lady Cat, I'm hungry, why am I hungry at 3 a.m., get something to eat, Erica, uh, oh, just kidding, you know, Tony, agreed. So um, I just find it interesting, Tony. I, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what you uh, we do on there and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I'd like to see what the I've I've looked at a couple. You know, when you go to the live broadcast, it's almost reminiscence of Periscope. That's my first impression when I looked at it. It was like, but the 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 uh, the, t uh, the chat was just scrolling. It scrolls a lot faster and stuff like that. So. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to make comment that Tony that uh, and then and, and then go full disclosure. Yeah, I'm on TikTok, but I'm as observing. I'm not going to be broadcasting or posting anything. I have posted some stuff, but it's a private account primarily. I'm just looking, okay, to say yeah, I'm there. Okay, um, I wasn't able to get Fireman Rich, so I had to go Rich Roberts 2022 or something like that. So uh, you know, go ahead, bombard me. I I, I may, <laughs> I may. But if you're not doing anything on TikTok, I won't be following you. You know, Tony's doing some stuff. Walt is killing it. I mean, he's a photographer. I could see a photographer really taking off on this. But if uh, you just, is it as good? I, I would say if I had a choice between TikTok and Haps, and you know how we all like Haps, right? I would pick Haps hands down over TikTok. I, I just uh, it, I just as a broadcaster and I can say I'm a broadcaster because I've done enough broadcasting here as an amateur a knucklehead uh, on my soapbox uh, uh, that uh, uh, I would uh, pref well well twitch is the best okay the only thing that's better or is just as good as twitch and equal to twitch would be YouTube because they're, they're the Giants 
Uh, you should check out my TikTok, Rich. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. Uh, I love uh, the... Uh, I'm staying away from those. Your description of those, Tony, I'm not going anywhere near those. No way. No way. <laughs> the conspiracy theory. And I'm staying away from those. I, as soon as I see what it is, if it goes into that realm, I, I click through. I don't waste any time and stuff like that. And um, let's see, I still kind of miss Haps. Yeah, it's been five, three months, three months now. I think Haps will come back in some some category. There's they're awesome, Rich. Lots of laugh. Yeah, I bet you they're awesome. I know, right? I think we do. Okay, folks, it's um, it's past the top of the hour, and I'm pushing 38 minutes. I got to get going. Um, I want to say thank you very much for being here, all in the chat as uh, I'm um, ending the broadcast or exiting stage left as I like to say and um, um, thank you Tina for being here I think Haps will be back too hey, I'm, I'm with you Tony I'm in that camp we're going to see I think it is um, let's see Tina saying bye all have a good day from uh, Lady Cat and uh, we're going to get our day started finish our coffee post this up over there uh I'm hoping to, yeah, and uh, Tony coming in with the first Bazanga. I know I'll be getting one here from Chris. And uh, Captain Rehab, thank you for being here. Jeeves, thank you. You take care, dude. I'm catching your uh, your replay, the replay on your DJ in there and stuff. Chris Tech coming in with have a great day, and as always, Bazanga. Yes, have a Bazanga day. You all have a great one wherever you may be. Uh, Christopher, yes, have a great Wednesday too, Christopher. And we'll see you Friday. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll be doing the audio. If definitely Friday morning here, I'll be back. If you're watching this on the replay over there on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Also, this is Rich Roberts at Fireman Rich here on Twitch as well as at Fireman Rich over on Twitter. Wishing you all well wherever you may be on this big blue marble. Live life. Have fun. Ciao for now. As always, peace. Take care, folks. Thanks a lot, guys.